Conway and welcome to WTGR. It's Monday, May 20th, and I'm Taylor here with your news for the day. Herf Jones will be t back tomorrow for any senior needing to pay or pick up supplies. Remember, cash only. Mr. CHS will be held tomorrow at 6 p.m. In local news, an Horry County Sheriff deputy was injured, who was injured during the Windsor Gr Green Fire died Sunday morning. Timothy Causey died at the Medical University of South Carolina around 9 a.m., according to the Horry County Sheriff's Office. Causey was a first responder at the Windsor Green Condominium Fire in Carolina Force on March 16th. He suffered smoke in inhalation and was also being treated for H1N1 or swine flu at MUSC for the past two months. In national news, forecasters say more to tornadoes could hit the n nation's midsection Monday. Violent storms ripped through Iowa, Kansas, and Oklahoma Sunday. The worst damage appears to be in Sh Shawnee, Oklahoma, where one person was killed. A resident says his mobile home park took a dead hit. Another 21 were injured throughout the state. Now over to Amanda with Club and Guidance. Club meeting, Spanish Honor Society, today. English Honor Society, Tuesday, 521. Scholarships, CCU, HDCC, and the Rotary Club scholarship applications are now available. See Ms. Gage and Guidance. National Honor Society meeting is tonight at 630 in the main auditorium. FCA meets every Wednesday morning at 745 at Ms. Spearman's room. Everyone is welcomed. Scholarships, see Ms. Gage and Guidance for more information on scholarships and financial information. There are over 20 scholarships listed in Guidance and on the Conway High School website. Hello, Conway. I'm Ryan here with your sports for the day. The Powder Puff football game will be held this Wednesday, May 22nd, in the backyard at 4.30. The game is a charity event, and the tickets will be for sale in the Commons during lunches. The CHS alumni game this last Saturday was a huge success. Nobody collapsed or passed out, and it was a lot of fun in both the women's and the men's alumni game. Here's a few words from Coach Hop on the games. I thought the, for the second time, uh, us doing it, the uh, annual alumni game, it went pretty good as far as participation from the uh, players, you know, we had more females uh, this time than we did the last time. We actually had the girls play a game. Last year we had to uh, incorporate them in with the guys. The guys, uh, turnout was pretty good. Uh, as far as fans, we got to do a little bit more to get them here. But the people that did show up, I thought they had a good time, did a good job participating. And overall, the feedback I got from everybody was real good. So we're looking forward to improving that and making it a better event next year. The alumni game this past weekend was successful. We had more participants than we did last year. Um, we had a good bit of fans and they did enjoy themselves. A lot of the kids and family came out to support the participants. Um, but all in all, it was a good occasion. Welcome, it's all for your sports today. Now to Michael with your weather. Hey, Conway, I'm Michael with your weather. Today will be mostly cloudy with thunderstorms and a chance of rain with a high of 81, with winds from the south at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight will be mostly cloudy with a chance of thunderstorms and a chance of rain, with fog overnight with a low of 68, with winds from the south at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tomorrow will be mostly cloudy with a chance of thunderstorms and a chance of rain, with a high of 82, with winds from the south at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tomorrow night will be mostly cloudy with fog overnight with a low of 66, with winds from the south at 5 to 10 miles per hour. That's all for your weather. Now back to Taylor. Thanks for the weather report, Michael. Well, Conway, that's it from WTGR. This is Taylor signing out.